Because the whole idea was that you would have this on your wrist, that, and if you were in the cockpit and mm -hmm. you're jostling around, there'd be nothing to sort of injure you. Right. Um, I don't know how that would happen. Maybe we'd <laughs> find make, naked. <laughs> What's going on guys? Waco from Revolution here with Jeremiah Chan at the Revolution hey. Watch Bar. Here to introduce our latest limited edition. It is a Tutima M2 Coast Line made specifically for us in this wonderful grade two titanium blacked out when it, when with military green accents. Mm. But I'm gonna hand it over to Jeremiah Chan and he's gonna tell you all about <laughs> this watch. Well, this is, this is so cool. I think as well it was in 1984. Uh, Tutima came up with the uh, reference 798, right? So very much uh, the design cues are so similar. I mean, with these uh, rectangular style pushers, which are very close to the case, obviously a screw down crown. Uh, I believe it was 43 millimeters uh, as well. It's the same but, size. Yeah, yeah, same size, right? Uh, but I think what's interesting as well, uh, there was a vote uh, for what watch or what uh, chronograph will be used for the countries or the militaries that are part of NATO, and it was a reference 798. The 798 is one of those super historic pilot's chronographs, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it was had a very unique design, as you said. It's got this kind of like tonneau-shaped case, yeah. and it has very famously very few sharp edges at all, because the whole idea was that you would have this on your wrist, that, and if you were in the cockpit and mm -hmm. you're jostling around, there'd be nothing to sort of injure you. Right. Um, I don't know how that would happen. Maybe we'd find <laughs> make, naked. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about pilots' watches of those that were used specifically by the West German Army. So uh -huh. following the creation of uh, the West German Air Force, uh, yeah. they used watches from three different companies. The first one was Harnhart, the Venerable mm -hmm. 417. And mm -hmm. we've actually got two versions of the mm -hmm. 417 Very here cool. that we've both done as uh, limited editions. Yeah. So we've got this brass version here, uh, done with the black dial and a 42 mm uh, size. And then we've got this copper head with a copper dial done also in brass, but in the original size of that chronograph, which was 39 mm, yeah. right? And you know, fluted bezel, bi-directional as well, with a, I mean, what, a red indicator for 12. Yeah, so you can time elapsed time as well. Right. So cool. And then we also have here um, a watch that is the Sin Bundeswehr. When the original uh, pilot's chronograph came out. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm, those were powered by Leonidas movements. And then when Hoyer took over the company, then there was a co-branding of movements, uh, Hoyer Leonidas. Exactly. Yeah, I think the reference was 1550SG. And uh, I think Sin came into the picture in the 1980s yes. because they acquired a, a batch of uh, new old stock cases directly from the Bundeswehr. Right, and they kind of repurpose them, and uh, this is what we call the Dark Star, I think. Yeah, so this watch was just created in collaboration with Sin, actually features mm. some of the very last cases that were acquired by them uh, for this Bundeswehr style watch, which is really cool. And we it's launched the this original watch. case. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, we will launch this watch a couple of years ago, but uh, if you like this watch, stay tuned because we may be launching something in 2024 in, in mm -hmm. that is uh, reminiscent of this. However, let's talk about the contemporary um, uh, pilot's chronographs. So uh, in the West German Army, in 1979, they adopted the Porsche design Chronograph, okay. Right. Uh, which was a watch that was initially launched in 1973-74. However, in 1979, they decided to use that watch. Now, what was cool about that watch was it was driven by the Lamania 5100, which is very specific because it's an extremely hard use, extremely stable chronograph movement, featuring a vertical clutch mm. and also featuring a minute counter. Right. But then, of course, uh, later on, Lamania was absorbed into uh, Swatch, Swatch Group, group. Yeah. and there was a decision that was made to stop producing the 5100. The so, shape. But this gave rise to another movement called the 7750, right? Mm. The, the, the Venerable, the venerable yeah. 7750, which made its way into many different watches. In the original versions of the 7098, you would also find the Lamani 5100. However, when uh, the brand launched uh, the M2, it decided to use the 7750 because the 5100 had been discontinued yeah. by that point. Now, the original version of this watch, of the, the M2, was a very large size titanium watch uh, featuring exactly these same design cues, but at 46.3 mm in terms of diameter. Mm. In 2020, yeah. Tutima decided to launch uh, this version, the M2 Coastline, Coastline, back at the original proportions, which is 43 mm and just over 15 mm in terms of thickness as well. Our, our US editor, Banu Chopra, who is the driving force behind this watch, uh, he was the one who really wanted to create this sort of NATO style chronograph. And so he decided to spec this watch with grade two titanium. He wanted it blacked out and he wanted these military green accents. Mm. So Jeremiah, walk us through that watch a little bit. Well, I mean, it's first, I mean, I, I mentioned it was grade two uh, titanium. Uh, why grade two? It's commercially pure. Uh, it's not really an alloy like grade five. So it doesn't contain uh, aluminum or vanadium. I love the black PVD coating because there's brushing uh, on it. And as we talked about the tonneau case, you see there are no lugs, so the strap connects directly 
and it just flows from the case directly into the strap. It's, it's really, really nice. What I'm really impressed with with this watch is what it represents as a value proposition. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a great looking watch, but it's also, to me, at 2,850 euros, wow. a pretty impressive value proposition. Um, and I know that that's one of the things that Tutima is famous for. And I want to applaud them for allowing us to present a watch that is at this price point, which I feel is a great value. Yeah, so I mean, we have these hands here, which are matte black, uh, but you know, there's a finish that kind of makes it look like it's velvet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and uh, obviously the green uh, colored uh, chronograph uh, hands provide strong contrast with the dial. Oh, and if you look at the inner bezel as well, there are minute markings or hour markings, I would say, like all the way from 1 to 12. Yeah, and white super luminova for the hour indexes and on the hands, and the hands are completely lumed, right, from the base to the tip. It's really nice. All right, so we'll hit the watch with our lume torch here. As you can see, all the indexes light up, uh, as well as the hour and minute hand also glows green. So incredible legibility for this pilot's chronograph. And uh, yeah, 2,850 euro. Huh? Well, there you guys have it. That is the Tutima M2 Coastline for Revolution. Uh, a great watch at a great price. Thanks, guys.